Hello, everybody. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I hope I am in the right place. You are in the right place, absolutely. It Thank is, you for joining the, us. The African. Yes, this is where we are going to association. launch the African Crystallographic Association. Yes. Okay, good. I am I am Professor Wage from Senegal, President of mm. African Physical Society. Morning, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay. And Bonjour, I see professor. you managed to get in as well. Ah, bonjour. <laughs> yeah, yes, the, the new link didn't work. Um, we've had, we've yeah. had some adventures with links. The old one didn't work for some people and the new one doesn't work for some other people. But it's good to see that many people seem to be getting in here this morning. So 54. It's not bad. So far. I'm hoping that the people who were in the session that has just finished also will move over here soon. Delia, how much time are you giving me? Uh, how, <laughs> how much time would you like? <laughs> you, you have a short time of five minutes in the schedule. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. It's, it's okay. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we will finish at, uh, at 1 p.m. South African time. Uh, if everybody sticks to because, time. Because yes. I, have, I have another meeting. Uh, that with, is when uh, we with, should with, finish. With yes. Simon and some other people at, uh, yes. at, at uh, 11 Senegalese time. So, there which are, is, uh, 1 p.m. in South Africa. So, there are, at some point, I will stop. And if you tell me that I still have time, then I will go further. But otherwise, you know, if, if it is enough, you learn from me. That's it. No, no, I, I just want to say that at, at 11, I have to leave. It's absolutely fine. Thank you for letting us know. And I understand that people have, uh, have other things they may need to do. Um, we have to rely on uh, Claude and Andre and Patrice to stick to their time. Okay, in any way, it will we be all in, in south, the, inside the joint conference, but in another, another room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Dalia, there's someone in the uh, EPCCR team uh, room that's asking for help, and I don't want to switch rooms. Our so goal Susan is, is um, there were quite a few people who were still there. Um, and Susan, Susan is in the it. EPCCR room at the moment, so you she know is. I can I can push them over back into the I don't know like a butler or bouncer. But. Uh, I don't know how many people are in that room right now. Uh, yes, I think quite a few people. I think maybe I can uh, make it zero. Just, just let Susan tell them that she's going to move them over. I'm just going to turn my microphone off and mute myself. So, Lawrence, if you're still here, can you move everybody over? I've just warned Susan that you're going to do that. Yep, doing it now. Okay, I'll Thank start you. doing that now. And then I'm just going to ask everybody if they can, um, at this point, mute their, mute their microphones and turn off their cameras just for bandwidth issues. Um, when I introduce people, you're welcome to turn on your camera and smile at us. But for now, if we could just keep our cameras off so that uh, we are able to get everybody connected despite some issues that people have with bandwidth. Thanks very much.
Lawrence, did you manage to move everybody over? Yep. Thank you very much. So I'm going to get started this morning. Uh, and just to let you all know that we are recording this morning's session um, so that you're aware that that's happening. Uh, so thank you all very much for being with us here this morning. It's a, a great occasion uh, for many of us uh, and many people who are here this morning and who've been working for a long time towards this, this day of uh, constituting and inaugurating the African Crystallographic Association. So um, we have a lot of people who've joined us this morning. And as I said just now, um, when, I, when I mention your name, please feel free to uh, open your camera and wave and smile at everybody. But otherwise, please keep your camera and your microphone off just so that we can keep the bandwidth down. So uh, there are a lot of people to welcome to this important session this morning. Uh, I'd like to start by welcoming uh, representatives from the International Union of Crystallography Executive Committee. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for this important day. Uh, and thank you especially to the president of the IUCR, Hannah Dabkowska, who you will hear a little bit from later. Uh, I'd also really like to welcome um, colleagues from the Executive Committee of the European Crystallographic Association, uh, of which at the moment many African countries are a member. Uh, and I'd particularly like to welcome the president of the European Crystallographic Association, uh, Mariana Dakovic. And again, you'll hear from her later on this morning. Um, welcome also to our colleagues from the IOCR Regional Associates, uh, David Rose from the, African, uh, the American Crystallographic Association. Uh, thank you for being here, um, especially at this very early hour of the morning. Um, Welcome to Shedong Su from the Asian Crystallographic Association, who's joining us this morning, and then also to Graciela de Delgado, who's representing the Latin American Crystallographic Association. Thank you so much, Graciela, for being here with us this morning. Uh, we also have some colleagues from uh, UNESCO who've been a great supporter of crystallography in Africa. Uh, Jean-Paul Ngomiabiaga, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I'll see you there. Uh, and Marshal Zabazi Khanna, who has also joined us this morning. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Prof. Walter Oyawa from the International Science Council. Uh, and I know that Catherine Ngila from the um, African Academy of Science will join us as soon as she can this morning. Uh, as you all know, this, this meeting is taking place as part of the EPCCR conference, the Pan-African Conference on Crystallography. And uh, this meeting is being co-organized or jointly hosted with the African Light Source and the African Physical Society. And I'm very pleased to be able to welcome the presidents of both societies this morning, um, Simon Connell from the African Light Source and Amadou Wagyu, who's said good morning to us this morning. Thank you very much for joining us here this morning. Then I have some other, other people to welcome who are here in various capacities, both in their support of crystallography in Africa and also specifically for their support and sponsorship of this meeting. Uh, so welcome to Andrew Shaw from Christian.com and John Steed from Crystal Growth and Design. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, also Andy Maloney, who's representing the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center this morning, and Thomas Blanton representing the ICDD, both of whom have been greatly supportive of uh, us in crystallography in Africa. And then thank you also to Brooker. I think Perry is here this morning representing Brooker and James Gordon representing Rogaku. And I'm sure you'll hear this morning a little about uh, how these folks have supported us um, through our various activities in crystallography in Africa. Then of course, I would like to welcome our founder members of the African Crystallographic Association. We have uh, representatives from a number of African countries with us here today, but I will introduce you and give you a chance to, uh, to introduce yourselves at the start of our council meeting. Um, and before we get into our, this morning's program, I want to say one final thank you. 
and that is to the members of the, um, the, the executive committee of the steering committee to form the African Crystallographic Association. Uh, this is a group of people who've worked extremely hard to bring us to this point this morning. And I'm very grateful to all of them. And I'd particularly like to mention our ex officio members, Claude Lecomte, who you'll hear from this morning, uh, Prof. Alessia Bachi, who is unable to join us today, but who has been a, an absolute champion of uh, helping us form the African Crystallographic Association. And then Michele Zima, who uh, from the from the IUCR, who again has been an ex officio member that has helped us a great deal to reach this point today. So with that, I uh, thank you once again all for joining us this morning. And um, we go right into the, the proceedings this morning and I'm going to ask the president of the IUCR to please uh, say a few words to us this morning. Over to you, Hannah. Can I share the screen? Absolutely, yes, you should be able to do that. In the bar at the bottom of your screen is a green button. Can you, uh, can you see it? Uh, not at the moment, no. Okay. Okay. So if you just, you should, if you just hover, hop, hover, hover over the bottom of your Zoom screen. Yeah, I, ha I have the share screen. Mm -hmm. And somehow it doesn't work for me. Uh, that's a bit strange. Lawrence, no, no, if you're in here. Nothing in here, can strange you? with the computers. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> yeah. So I can probably, for the uh, purpose of saving the time, I will try once again. Are you sure I can share the screen? I, I am allowed to share the screen? Uh, everybody okay. should be allowed to share I screen. Never, I never have a, I never, I, I usually don't have problems. So that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, Lawrence, can you can you so perhaps make Hannah a co-host? That's okay. The 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 present my, my presentation I had it uh, on the screen just to make it easier for people to follow. So probably it's not that important. I'm not planning to to say anything new for you. You are all very much uh, and involved in the work of International Union of Crystallography. You are all very, you are all very familiar. I am very happy and very pleased to be able to join you at this meeting. Uh, at the beginning, I would like to say a few words about the International Union of Crystallography. We have 54 adhering bodies and four regional associates until today for regional associates. We are the leading publisher in crystallography and we are non-profit or not-for-profit organization. We have 10 journals, international tables of crystallography and many books. Since 2014, we offer, we, we offer open access at very competitive rate. We support the authors and readers we set crystallographic standards. So on our not-for-profit part, we educate structural scientists and conduct outreach projects. We promote international collaboration and friendship in science. We are committed to propagate United Nations sustainability goals. Not, we are not capable to promote all 17 of them, but we definitely uh, can achieve uh, improving quality of education, promote decent work conditions, sustainable economic growth, and gender uh, uh, equality. The milestones in the history of UCR, which I was planning to show you, can inform you that how all these organizations get together. In 1975, for International Union of Crystallography was accepted into ISSU. In 1948, this was the first General Assembly of the Union. 
1948 also, acta crystallography, acta crystallography was launched. In 1950, American Crystallographic Asso uh, Association, our first regional associate joined the union. Moving forward, in 1985, ASCA, Asian Crystallographic Association, joined the union. And in 1997, European Crystallographic uh, Association was created. 2014 was the International Year of Crystallography. We had the privilege to uh, be joined by the Latin America Crystallographic Association. Now, on the 17th of November, 2021, we are being joined by African Crystallographic Association. So there is a list of the IUCR presidents who are working very hard to expand the presence of the uh, crystallography union around the world. It started in 1993 with Phil Coppens and uh, then many, many other presidents, Sine, uh, Gautam Desiraju, Mark Hacker, Sven Lidin, they all worked very hard to allow uh, joining uh, IUCR by the uh, LACA and by the uh, African Crystallographic Association. I am so proud and happy that it is happening on my watch. I'm very grateful, uh, Delia, for inviting me for this meeting. I didn't come to the previous meetings, and but I can say by staying here for the first day, listening to the talks, and taking part in the opening ceremony that you guys are more than ready for, uh, for, for, for these activities. This is only the third Pan-African conference. I wasn't there for the first and second one. My colleagues from executive committee were. The first conference was, the, uh, was 192 participants from 32 countries. And the subject was how crystallography can be a vehicle for promoting science in Africa. The second one in Ghana in 2019 was concentrating on crystallography as a tool for sustainable development in Africa. And now I come to the hurdles because it would be easy if it is on the screen, it's impossible to, for me. Uh, to pronounce all the names uh, properly. So please forgive me. The IUCR and uh, European Crystallographic Association colleagues and friends, Claude, Michele, Luc van Merveld, Alexia, to name just few, have worked really hard to make this day happen. From the African side, the input of Patrice, Abdel Malek, Sekazi, Alio, uh, Marielle, Boreima, uh, Aidifa, Delia, Susan, Andreas, Dave Billing. This is extremely important that the work you guys are, you put into it. I am very much impressed also with the, your interaction with politicians. Eleanor Yai Ladekan, who was the, the, the minister of the, from Benin, who was giving the talk at the opening ceremony impressed me very much. The COVID-19 forced us all to uh, attend the meetings virtually. This approach create also the potential to broaden participation in science for African studies, students and scientists, also from less fortunate or less wealthy countries in the world. With the crystallographic schools and novel programs like remote experiments at synchrotrons around the world, it may be soon possible to train faster students from Africa and uh, it will be possible to transfer the knowledge faster into their labs. 
So IUCR outreach program, the one I was talking about that we are using uh, the money which we uh, earn uh, producing the journals, is very, uh, very well organized. And I understand that Michele Zima will be talking about it in, in the, just after me. So please remember, we are here to help. Since 2014, the International Year of Crystallography, the union has provided over 2 million American dollars in funding to support crystallographic community. We sponsored international meetings and schools. We support the attendance of students and young scientists. We worked on visiting professorship and the program crystallography in Africa is fostering collaboration and friendship between the nations and laboratories. I strongly encourage, uh, we have about 30, uh, we run about 30 open labs in uh, collaboration with the industry. And this is only from year 2014 until uh, it was possible before COVID. What I would like you to check is the crystal growth competitions for the school children. In this newsletter, uh, there is a very good presentation of the crystal grown by children in remote place in Poland and during the COVID time. This is really interesting and uh, strong work. And then, yeah, this is the moment when I think I am finishing because it's, I, so, so I just would like to say that we are extremely happy that you are creating this uh, regional associate. We are very happy that you are joining this family. And I encourage you to read about us in the newsletter. Join us at the Congress. Update your entry to World Directory of Crystallography. And please, now is the time to nominate for the IUCR Award. So please consider nominating for the Award Award and for the Brax Prizes. And so this will be it. Thank you very much for listening to me. I apologize for the fact that I cannot show you the slides. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your, your kind words of support and of, of welcome. We very much appreciate them. Uh, and I'm also sorry that you weren't able to show us your slides. I'm not sure what's going on there. I hope it's not a general problem. We'll figure it out now. Um, so thank you very much to the IUCR for their support and for those words. Um, I'm it, says ask... only the, it says only the host can uh, share the screen. Oh, that's very strange. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, we'll look into figuring that out at the moment. Um, so our next, uh, the next person I'd like to call on to say a few words to us is the president of the European Crystallographic Association. Um, Mariana, yes, I see you there. You are with us. The floor is over to you. Thank you, Delia. And thank you all co the colleagues and dear friends who gather today. I'm deeply honored and at the same time, extremely thrilled to be here today for this occasion, this special event for crystallography in Africa, the constitution of Africa, a new and independent crystallographic body. This is not only an event of exceptional importance for African crystallographic community, but it is also an event of extreme importance for European crystallographic community too, as some of the African communities have started their journey under the umbrella of ECA or European Crystallographic Association and developed into strong communities as they are today. During the journey, they were apparently sparking the enthusiasm for science in general and crystallography in particular of others in their vicinity and across the African continent, acting as a nucleus of crystallization for developing into this independent body, which has been constituting today. Although ideas and willingness to strengthen crystallographic in Africa were present for longer time, we all are happy that they've got a new and a strong momentum through the international year of crystallography and its related activities, what apparently resulted with organized actions toward building up a strong pan-African crystallographic community. And that is 
where we are today, after five years of tireless efforts of especially steering comedy, African cryptographic community has got to this important point in time to take its own path and independent life. As crystallography through underpinning a variety of scientific fields has proved instrumental in many aspects of life, economy and society. I'm confident that this initiative, this constitution of AFCA will not only be a driving force for building a stronger crystallographic community and scientific community in Africa, but will also contribute to advancement of African economy and society. And we are all looking very much forward to see AFCA on that stage. Now, let me just say that I'm extremely happy to be here and let me congratulate on my behalf and behalf of ECA to all the African colleagues crystallographers, to all those that have been supporting this project, but especially the colleagues on the steering committee for this success in bringing the Africa project to this important mark. I wish you all good luck and success in your future work and independent life. But remember, ECA will be there, still there, to support you whenever you might need the support. And please just still join us at ECA meeting, meetings. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Mariana, for those lovely kind words. Uh, I have no doubt that we will be contacting you for help and support in the future, and definitely that we will still be at your meetings. Uh, thank so you welcome. so much. Um, somebody in the chat has asked for the agenda of the session. Um, I'm just going to say to you in words now quickly and ask somebody from the steering committee to just pop it on the chat if we can. Um, but we're now going to have some presentations on the history of both the AFCA and the PCCR meetings. Uh, and after that, we will have the inaugural council meeting of the African Crystallographic Association. Uh, and then some short words from colleagues at ISC and UNESCO, and then we will end the session. Uh, it's due to finish at about, at about one. I anticipate that we will run slightly over that, but uh, that's the agenda coming up for the rest of the session. So without any further ado, I'm going to ask my uh, colleagues, Andre Ruert, Lord Lepont, and Patrice Kenfak to uh, take over. I think Andre is going to speak for us first today. Uh, he's been very much involved in uh, the process of bringing us to this point today and he's going to tell us a little bit about a little bit of the story uh, that has brought us to this point over to you andre um delia i hope you can hear me and i hope you can see my slide I can hear you and I can see your slides. Please go ahead. Excellent. Thank you very much, Delia, Delia for uh, uh, the nice introduction and also uh, in advance what you are still going to do here for this whole uh, drive. Um, I will uh, try to rush through my slides, but I want to highlight a few things and I hope colleagues you will bear with me. So. Um, I want to discuss a little bit about the, the path that, uh, from my perspective, we have taken. Uh, and um, I want to start a little bit earlier uh, in the last millennium uh, and show you some uh, of the, the ways that crystallography came to Africa. Uh, I consider it in a roughly a two-pronged, spontaneous evolutionary process, uh, starting from up north and also starting around the same time uh, from south. And um, I want to apologize in advance. Uh, this will be a biased view based on chemist. So apologies to all our physics, mineralogists, uh, geologists, and other people around here. Uh, the, the aim is not to eliminate you. It's just that the time is sort of not so much. So what I wanted to do 
what I try to do with this horrible slide that I always tell my students you should not have, but to lay out a rough timeline of what, uh, uh, what brought us to this point here. And you will see on the left hand side, there are quite a lot of times there and then uh, some principal drivers, role players are basically list listed in here, some activities here in the third column and then the final column, I put some results in there. And you will see there's one red, there's a lot of green and there is one with question marks. So let us proceed. What I then uh, did is uh, by personal choice, I have sort of divided it in, into four eras, if you like, that I would quickly like to, to just address in the limited time. But what I want you to do is to look at the names and try to spot the name that comes out the most. And uh, to help you, I will show you my next slide. And there you will basically see uh, uh, a certain person named Claude Lecomte. And uh, I, I, I think uh, the opportunity will still come quite a lot to honor people for what they've done. But I think a person like Claude deserves significant recognition here. I will say a little bit more later on. So let me start at my uh, five points in time and uh, quickly cover it and then conclude. So the first point is that I call before the 1990s. And that basically starts from the Braggs to then how crystallography came to South Africa from Lawrence Bragg, between Lawrence Black and uh, Reginald James, who were a sort of same colleagues in the Bragg group. And uh, James ended up in Cape Town, as you can see here at the bottom left, together with Lawrence Bragg. From them on, there was a guy named Frank Herbstein, whom many of the older colleagues might know. And then from Frank onwards, there were four instrumental people in South Africa that I consider. Jan Boyens, Luigi Nazambeni, Joe Leipold, and John Field also, that basically formed nuclei uh, for crystal development to grow. And then I've just introduced to the right a big red arrow. Actually, I should have made it an explosion. But to reminisce a little bit, uh, to tell you before 1990, what crystallography looked like also in South Africa and the world, uh, there was some powder diffraction, and that's a powder camera for all the young colleagues here. Uh, Weissenberg camera setup, and then uh, a Burger the precession camera setup. And here at the bottom, you will see some pictures, oscillation, zero layer photos and burger photos where you basically can get the uh, reciprocal index. But that was uh, for the early part, let's say 60s, 70s, 80s. And then fortunately in the 80s, the CAD4 and the four circle diffractometers came and really um, boosted the whole development further. Then the second part in timeline is to look at two people that you will see there on the screen, hopefully Jan Buens, late Jan Buens, and also Luigi Nazambeni. They were responsible for the first area detector in South Africa. I think the first one was actually at Witz in 1995. And then also at that point in time, the drive to put Africa on the map, if you like, by attempting to host the IUCR meeting. Um, came to the fore in Vancouver in 1996 as per this red part at the bottom where you will see the sad, uh, at least from the South African point of view and Africa point of view, is that South Africa missed the, the vote with a few votes uh, to Israel only to have the Israel meeting then uh, shifted a few years after that to Geneva. So that was what we consider a sort of a bad uh, thing that happened in terms of the second timeline. Then if we look at the third timeline, and um, you will see there I highlighted again the 2000s, if you like, and uh, there you will see the name Lecomte featuring there prominently. 
And um, before concluding what I said at the bottom, I would like to point specifically to the right hand yellow uh, part. And Claude has to be recognized together with all the other colleagues that helped him and pushed very hard. But the bottom line is, in my view, Claude was the pusher of this whole effort, uh, this whole effort. and it resulted in many schools, many open labs, many lecture series throughout South Africa. So Claude, you do deserve, in my view, a golden to be recognized for the golden contribution that you basically have made towards expanding crystallography in South in South Africa, in Africa. Um, to illustrate uh, the activity and the enthusiasm of Lecomte, uh, I, I, I will scan through a few quick uh, slides here where you can see he's very busy at the different sites, in this case in Senegal, in this case in uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, the open lab, Claude Busy, together with the colleagues that I named there on top. Again, in Chang, 2013, you will see Claude very busy with his left hand writing there at the top slide and then in front of the gates of the University of Chang and also the activities at the bottom right. And then maybe a final slide of Claude where uh, the whole question of the first crystal structure synthesized in, in, in sub-Saharan Africa was basically solved here uh, during this situation. Okay, then I would like to jump to some activities that I was uh, privileged to be, be a part of. And uh, now I would like to go back a little bit further, or not further, but back in time in the beginning of the 2000s. There you see the root name is highlighted there, but next to the root name there is basically Leconte still there. And um, uh, this explains the slide, hopefully will show you... Uh, some activity of the conference, the ECA meeting that we had, ECM 21, uh, that we had in Durban. And then um, fortunately, we had uh, the opportunity to have Claude there, also at the opening ceremony, and then uh, former uh, president of the IUCR, Bill Duex, basically there. So that really, in my view, was an important milestone for Africa, the fact that we didn't get the IUCR General Assembly, but then um, based on also enthusiasm from, from Claude, we were awarded in South Africa the ECM 21, and he was basically really instrumental also helping us to push it there. Okay, then I would like to jump to, uh, on to 2014. So when I was the president of the ECA, um, I, I had an invitation from uh, Gautam Desaraju there, shown together with uh, a situation that we had in, in Poland, uh, honoring Lau. But the invitation to hold one of the three world summits in Bluefontein. And we constructed it as basically shown here. We called it actually already the, the Pan-African Conference and Summit 2014. And we had a very interesting meeting basically there. Um, why was it necessary to have it there and to allow us to do that? Well, you will see here is a rough map of the European Crystallographic Association member countries. And at that point in time, we only had five African countries being part of the ECA. And uh, so the aim was to really expand our thrust. We had a very nice meeting there, uh, illustrating just here a name names of the countries who were part at that, that point in time of the ECA. So for, for some 35 countries, only five African countries were part. We had a great meeting, I think, and you will, if you carefully look, see the usual aspects there with Delia there at the back and Susan there and uh, Santiago and Luigi and Jan Boyens and so forth. So we had a nice meeting there. During that meeting, we signed and directed a, de a declaration, and I invite you to read this declaration. Uh, all the references to my talk are basically given in my uh, uh, abstract. So I, I invite you to basically go and read it there. So we had this, this signed. We had the opportunity to have many people from Africa there. Uh, here are we signing the initial parts 
of the, the this this uh, uh, declaration. So, getting to the last two three minutes or so, establishing Africa. So this is what Africa looked 100 years ago in terms of crystallography. With the meeting in Bloemfontein, we had the opportunity to actually involve already all these purple countries, and we did so. And then the uh, looks of Africa will change. And it changed something like that. So there we now had crystallographic contacts in, in, in Africa like that. If you add the member countries that we had at that point in time to the ECA, then it looks like this. So uh, it developed now to something like 20 good contacts in Africa. In fact, I say... Uh, we had 16 professors, nine doctors, and two from industry, and it looked like that. However, I think the enthusiasm of 2014, the International Year of Crystallography, caused people to relax and take a vacation a little bit, because we struggled during the following three years to have good contacts with our colleagues in Africa. And then during that time, we thought it good to develop Africa and define it in terms of regions. And um, that's actually where we sort of are today. So Claude will also say a few things more after me, but I've got two final slides, if I remember correctly. And I just, with again, this slide of mine, list all the other people, except or uh, eliminating Claude Lecomte there, eliminating a route and indicating how many other people are involved there. So I didn't name them by names, but colleagues from you are here. We really recognize what you basically have done to help us to come this way. And please note the arrows here at the bottom. So I would like to uh, give you an, uh, uh, a committee here that... Uh, have been named already, and with that to conclude and wish you all well and a thank you from uh, Rainbow of South African Languages. Thank you very much, Delia. Thank you very much, Andre, for your presentation and thank you especially for the fantastic role that you've played in bringing us to this point today. You, uh, you were quiet about your role, but you've You've been really crucial. I have very good memories of uh, sitting in Ghana, putting together the statutes of this association uh, under the trees. So thank you very much, Andre, um, for your presentation. And I will now hand over to uh, Professor Claude sure. Lacombe, who we've heard about this morning. Thank you, Claude, that you are here. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. And we look forward to hearing what you have to say. Hello, do you hear me? We hear you and we see your slides. Thank you. Thank you very much. First of all, many, many thanks, Andre, for these very nice things you said for me. I, I am very, very happy of that. Thank you very much. So I, I will try to, to give you uh, an idea about the history of uh, the last 20 years from 2000 until, until uh, uh, now, how the idea and concept of uh, African Crystallographic Association came. Here is a slide of the PCCR one, as, as you can see. So before 2000, as André said, the only recognized crystallography was in South Africa. And this was the beginning of the development of crystallography in North Africa. And so when the Af African Crystallographer became, I would say, more international, came with the two ECM meetings in Durban with Professor Andre Rod and in Marrakech with uh, Professor Abdel Malik Terra. That was the first recognition of the international community for Africa. Then we, 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 we were trying to find uh, uh, some some pro new project for Africa. And uh, it came with a discussion I had with Dr. Gérard Fauvé, who was the uh, chair of uh, Brucker France Company. And uh, 
the thing which And what we decided, Gerard proposed me to give us for free new, new repair second end diffractometer, which should be sent and, and uh, installed in sub Saharan African universities. I jumped on his, his proposition and we began to, to build this kind of concept, installing a diffractometer. And doing lecture around this diffractometer in, in order the colleagues from this African university can learn uh, how to solve or to refine a structure, how to make powder diffraction, etc. And then at that time I was a member of the uh, IUCR executive committee and very soon after vice president of the committee, I made a proposal to IUCR Executive Committee for a budget which enables organization of schools and will help to install the top second and diffractometers in Africa. It was approved without any problem by IUCR and the budget was recurrent every year since. Then we had pre-meeting to prepare the International Year of Crystallography between the IUCR president Professor Desiraju, myself, Professor Naleps, and Dr. Ngome, who were our, uh, uh, our contact at UNESCO and collaborate. So we built, uh, then after this contact, I made a proposal to UNESCO for a budget also, which also enables us, organization of school, and help to install the so-called undifractometers in Africa. Before the international year, we had a very, we have many brainstormings between Naleps, Desiraju, and Gome and myself to define what we should do for Africa and an emerging. <laughs> Excuse me, there is some problem. And emerging countries during the international year of crystallography, and that was the birth of the open lab concept. In therefore, in 2014, before the international years. We had contact with Brucker Company, Panalytical Company, Regacu, Dectris, Stoe, Oxford Diffraction for IUCR Open Lab and organization of this Open Lab. Almost all these, all these companies agreed to help us and were helping us to organize these, the Open Labs, at least during the International Year of Crystallography. Uh, I just would like to. Claude, we can't, is, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear you anymore. Do, do you hear me now? Now I hear you. Could you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, yes we hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I, I begin again. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we hear you. Delia, do you hear me? I hear you and I see your screen. Okay, so there is a problem with this thing. I don't know what to do with that, but no problem. So I, I would like, I would like before. It seems that some problem with your internet speed. Please check it. No, I don't think it's the internet. Can we close videos that aren't necessary? I think it needs only be the chair and the speaker. What are you? Uh, are you still with us? I see you. I see your slides. I just don't hear your voice. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, I will try again. 
Now I hear you beautifully. <laughs> so I'm trying again. Still have the problem. I hear you and I see your slides. Okay, so I will try because I, I, have, I cannot use my computer now. Uh, to advance the slide. slide. If, you, um, it, uh, if you move yourself to the window where your slides are showing, that usually helps. So uh, Alt Tab. Um, I don't know what the buttons are labeled in French. <laughs> But if you move to the window where your slides are playing on your computer, you should be able to then move the slides forward. I have no, nothing. In the, okay. Okay, now I will try again. Okay. Sorry for this problem. I still have this uh, thing on my Okay. We all understand. We've all had similar problems before. <laughs> so, uh, I, before going on, I would like to discuss a little about crystallography in Northern Africa, including uh, uh, so Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, and Mauritania. So most of the crystallography before 2000 came since almost 1970, uh, 1970 with collaboration with universities of French universities, Bordeaux, Grenoble, Lille, Nancy, Paris, Poitiers, Rennes, et cetera, et cetera. And what, what did this, this uh, university, they made some education in crystallography, PhDs of North African students, and most North African prof professors, the first North African professor in crystallography, are PhD of this university. It was those professors who began to, in fact, introduce crystallography in uh, Northern Africa. But I want to mention somebody very important for, I think, the crystallography in Northern Africa was Professor Durif, who was teaching crystallography in Monastir, Tunis, Bizert, Rabat, Casablanca, and also, if I remember well, in Algeria. He had collaboration with all these universities, educated PhDs on phosphate crystal chemistry. And uh, I think he was really a key researcher and a key educator professor for Northern Africa. And then it began, the, the, the crystallography developed in Algeria through, for example, Professor Guerilla, Professor Ben Ali Sherif, Professor Merazik, Mousser, Wares, and Sherwana. For Morocco, I will I, I prepare a special slide. For Tunisia, I would like to, to mention Professor Debabi, Dorbes Sidri, Burkzala, and Naou Mezi. And in Mauritania, Professor Barry, who is collaborating with us and will take care also Mezi of Niger and um uh, so for Morocco, it's very important to say that Professor Talal had a great role in uh, international role uh, in the international year of crystallography because he has convinced the highest Morocco authorities to propose to UN an international year of reason. The existence and success of the international year is definitely the fruit of the artwork of Abdel Malek, thank you a lot, Abdel Malek, and his bureau de l'Association Marocaine de Crystallography, IMC. I just remember to Madame Ayoussia, President, that IMC, therefore, must really remain as an IUCR country member. Thank you. So how many open labs did we, did we had in uh, Africa? It begins during the international year with Morocco, 
where there was more the traveling lab, it means that we, the, the diffractometers were traveling from Rabat to Casablanca, to Fez, to Agadir, Meknes, etc., uh, all over the international year. In Ghana, also during the international year, we, have, we had a, <coughs> an open lab on powder diffraction with Panalytical. In Algeria, it was mostly in Constantine with Brucker. And the first sub-Saharan open lab was in Senegal, in Ziegenshore, in 2015. And we had also a second one in 2017 with a collaboration with ICTP and Brucker. In Côte, in Côte d'Ivoire in 2018, we installed two diffractometers, one powder diffraction and one single crystal diffraction, and the, open, the corresponding open lab. Then in Cameroon, it began in Chang in 2013 and 14, with school I was teaching. And then in 2000, 2017, installation of a powder diffraction diffractometer. Then in Benin, we have um, the last uh, open lab with Brucker in 1970, in, 19, in 2019. And the next ones will be Congo, Gabon, Mauritania, Cameroon, etc. Cameroon for the inauguration of the new installed uh, single crystal diffractometer. So, what is now the equipment? So to my, to my uh, knowledge, uh, in Sub-Saharan, in Chang, there is a second and the first one was the second and powder diffractometer, Brucker. In Abidjan, we have the second and powder and single crystal diffractometer, Brucker. In Ghana, there are many single powder diffractometers and one single crystal diffractometer, mostly due to the collaborative to paid by the Ministry of Education. In Niger Nigeria, there are also many diff powder diffractometers. In Seme City, in Benin, there is a new installed single crystallographer, single crystal diffractometer. The, the price was negotiated, the price with Brucker was, was negotiated by Michele and myself. In Chang, the, new, the second and single crystal diffractometer has been installed in uh, just two months ago. In, future, in the future, we will have powder diffractometer, powder diffraction in Togo, mainly paid by the World Bank. And in Mauritania, there is a big project on developing science in Mauritania, and the powder diffraction uh, diffractometer will, will be by next year. So, how did, did the AFCA ID came? So, it's the first PCCR one organized in Chang with 30 African countries, we had a discussion which demonstrated the need of networking between all structural scientists, and that via an Africa Crystallography Association, AFCA. The first co committee to construct AFCA was settled. Meetings of this committee in Accra during PCCF2 and preparing the future, the future statutes of the association were done. An executive committee of the steering committee of the future AFCA was built with the chair, Professor Delia Hale, and Secretary Patrice Kenfak. Thank you very much. And since we had periodic remote meetings of the committee to finalize the aim of AFCA, the statutes, the bylaws, and the relation between AFCA and the future. And now we will uh, have our AFCA working. What is the future? For me, the future is that there is still a need for diffraction experiments in sub-Saharan sub Africa. And I introduce it to UNESCO presently, the concept of remote. If you, you have two partners, one A, which hosts a diffractometer in their lab, and the second one B, which will reuse remotely the diffractometer. First, we then made the first successful test sponsored by UNESCO, thanks Dr. Zebazikana and Marcin, and thanks to Jean Paul and Gomez. And the, the first test was between CRM2 with Dr. Emmanuel Vinger and Chang with Patrice Kenfak. The generalization of this experiment, we want to generalize, it was 
successful. Therefore, we want to generalize this experiment. And then we are building now a project with UNESCO and IUCL. The, what is the, the idea? The A university should, should accept to link their diffractometers to selected B laboratories. Do not, and we, they will not ask B for any payment for the use of their diffractometer. The B laboratories must, must propose a colleague responsible for the experiments. These colleagues should have an excellent crystallography background, at least knowing how to drive the A diffractometer. This remote lab sure will be used for research, but also very important for teaching purposes. A special course will be organized for the B laboratory colleagues in charge of the remote experiment. All the information will be given via the AFCA. Diffractometer com companies are welcome to help. And thank you and you also for your future contribution. Thank you very much, Claude, for that. To, to thank everybody. Now, first, I would like to thank greatly Delia, Patrice, and Andre, who did, who did not count their time to build our community, all AFCA executive committee members, all delegates of the National African Crystallographic Association, Broker Company, which was the start of our adventure, Dr. Fauvet, Guillain, Martin, Cocheteux, and Cochet, UNESCO, thanks Jean-Paul, Jean -Paul, Dr. Ngome, Professor Naletz, Dr. Zebale, Professor Talal and this executive committee of the IMC, Dr. Simeon Ponou and Professor Jean Ngoun from Chang, because they were the first, my first contact in Chang to, be, to begin the African initiative. Lecturer at most of NAP, Florence Porcher, Emmanuel Vinger, Elulmi Mendef, Alessia Bashi, Professor Camara, Tenon, Tonley, Anguilé, Dado Arin, Ben Ali Sherif, Sagbo, Barry, who were hosting Open Labs, Dr. Diallo, Siki, Bibila, Boufak, Boufak, Boureima, Ben Ali Sherif, Marielle, Thierry, Almeida, Priska, Kouakou, Gif Melena for helping us in the Open Labs, and sure, Professor Desiraju, the Executive and Finance Committee members always of the IUCR, who always help us, Dr. Alex Ashcroft and Mike Dacomb, who were the executive secretary of the IUCR, and Bill Duax, with whom I began a part of this adventure. Eka Execom should be also thank, particularly Prof. Rod and Alessia Patti, and for most of the Open Lab, the CCCD staff who greatly contributed to the success of the Open Lab. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to, for the problem we had. Thank you, Claude, for that wonderful overview, and not only of where we've come from, but of where we are going to. It's really exciting to see, um, see things happening and see where we're going to in the future. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to call now on uh, Patrice, who you've heard mention of several times today, uh, to give us a very brief um, outline of what's been going on with the PCCR meetings. Patrice, are you with us? Patrice, can you hear me? Claude, can yeah, you yeah. unshare your screen? <laughs> Hi, Patrice. Uh, Claude, could you unshare your screen, please? Okay. Patrice yeah, yeah. can share. Okay, I'll share my own. Uh, Patrice, you should be able to share your screen now. Give it a bash. Yes, I try. Great. Okay. okay. And you just need to go into presentation mode. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Patrice. Over to you. Okay. Thank you, Delia. Thank you. Everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending to your time zone. So uh, after this talk of Andreas and Claude, I will 
brief, I will present uh, the objective of the Pan-African Conference on Crystallography. I will give a brief report on the two previous editions. As we know, all crystallography underpins other science, like physics, chemistry, health science, biology, since it contributes to understand the, and improve the property of materials. And that is why conference on crystallography are always important moments where science is celebrated and shared. But you remember all this map before the international year of crystallography. We only have South Africa, Algeria, Tunisia, Morocco, uh, who were members of the International Union of Crystallography. Um, so we didn't, we don't, we only have this opportunity to share science around crystallography with Indaba conference to the South Africa Crystallographic Association. So to uh, change the situation, uh, Andreas talked about this summit meeting that we, 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 ha we had during the International Year of Crystallography in Bluefront. A declaration was signed. And among the points in this declaration, it was important for crystallography to share crystallography and science on the continent. It was important first to establish the National Crystallographic Association in African countries and support their activities. It's also, it was also important to facilitate the regional conference on crystallography and its application in Africa. This last point, the framework of the legacy of the International Year of Crystallography inspired the African Crystallography Committee, steering committee to launch the Pan-African conference, conference on Crystallography. So the objective for this conference is to train young students, researchers, and African teachers. Uh, this can be done with workshop during the conference or before the conference. Also to vulgarize crystallography in energy field for Africa, where we have a lot of resources like mineral mining, material science, green chemistry, and archaeology. Another important objective is to facilitate the implementation of crystallography-oriented experimental research center in Africa, because facilities are really, really lacking on the, the continent. And the last objective is to foster a link between the industries and researchers for a large scale application of crystallography in Africa. Up to date, we have organized two African conferences on crystallography. The first one was held in 2016, and the second one, then organized by the, with the African Light Sources, it was held in 2019. Concerning the PCCR one, the chair of the organizing committee was Professor Tonle, and the chair of the scientific committee, Professor Claude Lecomte. The preliminary lecture was, was were, were given by Professor Gautam Diziraju and Ron Lefsit. Six sessions were also organized, two sessions in crystal engineering and structural chemistry function through design, one session in inorganic materials and industrial minerals, other session on crystallography for life science, crystallography database, inorganic material and mining industry, and large facility for emerging countries. During this, uh, in this session, we organize the keynote lecture, invited talk, and also some African people give, uh, gave a contributed talk. Two roundtables were also organized on the title of crystallography as vehicle to promote science in Africa and beyond, equipment for African laboratories and African life sources. So we record about, we record 58 oral presentation, 57 posters. In terms of participation, we register around 200 participants from 32 countries, including 20 from Africa. The majority of the participants were coming from Africa, particularly from Central Africa. Workshops were organized, the determination of uh, on the structure determination with the single crystal diffractometer, the two zest from Broker during the, the conference. 
Regarding the PCR2, the organizing committee was chaired by Professor Robert Kinshoff Adabo, the scientific committee by Professor Gilberto Atioli. Three workshops were organized during the event one on powder diffusion cream and hands, also with the B2 phaser coming from Boca. Another workshop on protein crystallization, and the last one on temporary structural database. Three plenary lectures were given by Professor Sir Leon Blondel, Gavin Vaughan, and Eric Collet. The same session organized during the PCCR1 were organized during the PCCR2. We record about 53 presentations for about 40 posters. 250 participants were, uh, were attended to the event from 40 countries, including 24 from Africa. Now, the Central Af uh, the West Africa, uh, the participants were coming uh, uh, also majority from Africa, especially the, the West Africa now. So, PCR1 and PCR2 were a very successful event, and Pan African Conference on Crystallography can really contribute to share and celebrate science on crystallography on the continent. This was not possible without the great work done by all these people Claude Le Comte, Andreas Roth, Jean Paul Gomez, Daniel Nyangarunyura. Michele Zema, all the Africa Cryptography Association Steering Committee, the organizing committee for the two conferences. We also thank the International Union of Cryptography, the International Science Council, UNESCO, for their support. All the companies and institutions are also thanked. It also is, uh, is also the case, uh, we also thank the participants, all these people, for their interest to share their work with the Africa community, which continue to grow. PCR1 were organized in Central Africa, PCR2 in West Africa, PCR3 will be held in Nairobi. The website is already open. It's go to the website to have more information. We are looking forward to meeting you in Nairobi. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much, Patrice, for giving us a summary of how these conferences are, are growing and bringing the African community together. And of course, that's what we're doing here at this conference as well, is uh, having an opportunity to bring the community together. So thank you to everyone for those um, accounts of what has brought us to this point today. Uh, and I'm gonna move very quickly now into um, actually the first uh, council meeting of the African Crystallographic Association during which we will take some votes. So I first want to, uh, welcome all the representatives from the founder countries. Um, Patrice, can you unshare your screen for a moment? Oh, yes, can you sir. stop sharing? Thank you. Um, so uh, representatives from, from our various countries, please feel free to put on your camera and wave and smile at us uh, when I name your country so that we know you are here um, and who you are. So we have a representative from uh, Algeria. Are you with us? I can't see all the pictures. So uh, from Algeria is Benali Sherif Nouradin. Uh, from Tunisia. Hello. Morning. Hello, great to have you here. That's Marie Nomazin from Morocco. Uh, Prof Talal is here. I've seen you this morning, Prof. Um, from Cameroon, Crystal uh, JC Tekwa, are you here, Crystal? Uh, yes, she is. I'm there. Wonderful yeah. to see you, thank you. From South Africa, Clive Oliver. Hi Clive, nice to see you here this morning, thank you. Uh, we have a representative from Congo Brazzaville, uh, Dr. Ngoro Elinga. Hello, nice to see you. I'm just going to mute people. 
Uh, from Cote d'Ivoire. It's Eric Ziki here from Cote d'Ivoire. I saw him earlier, so I think Ziki. he is with us. Uh, from Senegal, Magat Kamara. Are you with us this morning? Wonderful. I'm seeing waves. Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, great. Thank you, Cote d'Ivoire. And uh, Senegal is also here. I see you there. Uh, from DRC, Albert, are you with us this morning? I saw you in the meeting earlier, so I think you are here with us today. We have a representative from Gabon. Are you with us this morning? I can't see all the screen, so please unmute. <laughs> Albert, there, I see you, and our representative from Gabon, I think, is with us. From Nigeria. Hello. Hello, uh, Dr. Lufunzo from Nigeria, from Benin. Hello. Hi, Sidwan. Bonu is representing Benin this morning yes. uh, from Kenya. Yeah. Dr. Otario, uh, who is here from Kenya representing Kenya? Great. That's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, representative from Rwanda, Prosper, I think, yep. is here this morning. Yes, I'm Great. here. I'm Dr. Adam Boraima. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you also, Prosper. Uh, David, are you here from Ghana? I saw David earlier, so I know that he is with us. And do we have a representative from uh, Zimbabwe? I'm here. Wonderful, thank you for joining us. That's Dr. Shuma from Zimbabwe. And we have, I think we have somebody from representing Egypt this morning as well. Hi, Delia. Hi, Saham. So thank you all very much for joining us this morning. We're going to have a very quick uh, council meeting. I'm going to share my screen quickly. Um, feel free to leave your cameras on, but can I ask that everybody mutes their microphone Me? unless they have something to show, uh, to say? Um, so we've been moving towards an African Crystallographic Association. We now are at a point where we're going to form it. And in, in order to do so, we need to, um, we need to have a vote. Uh, so that vote, we're gonna have a, a very short agenda for this morning's meeting. Um, we have already welcomed our founder members. We're going to approve our statutes and constitute the African Crystallographic Association. Um, the statutes have been sent out to all of our founder members. Um, we're then going to vote to approve the inaugural Executive Council of AFCA, and then we will close the very short meeting. So um, without any further ado, I'm going to ask our, our members from our various founder, um, founder countries to vote by raising their hands on this first point. Uh, this is to accept the constitution and the bylaws that have been distributed to you. I've put the important part there on the slide, the objectives of, of the new African Crystallographic Association. Um, so we need to vote to approve the constitution and bylaws and to constitute the association. So please, could you, um, just our founder members, raise your hand if you approve this. Uh, and if you don't know how to raise your hand in Zoom, feel free to turn on your camera and raise your hand in person. And Patrice is going to keep an eye on how many hands are raised for me um, in either way as to whether we would like to constitute this association. I see we have 10 hands raised at the moment, 11 hands raised at the moment. So that's telling me that we have a majority and now it's telling me that we in fact have uh, a unanimous vote to constitute the African Crystallographic Association. Thank you all for that. You can put your hands down now. Um, and I can now officially say that we have an official African Crystallographic Association that has been constituted. It's been a long time coming towards the stage. So I feel that a round of actual Unmuted applause is in order for this point right now. And I'm going to clap my hands to say, well done, guys. Thank you very much. We've uh, got to this point. Thank you all so much. 
Thanks, folks. So the next thing that we need to do is uh, also to vote to approve the proposed uh, inaugural executive committee of AFCA. And I know it seems quite strange that I'm proposing this committee when my name is on it, but this proposal actually comes from the uh, the executive committee of the steering committee that led us to this point. So these are the people that they have proposed to uh, be the first executive according to our statutes and our constitution. So can I ask you all to please, um, the founder members, to please raise your hands once more if you approve this executive committee. Do good, it? So far, so good. I'm up to 13 raised hands to approve this committee. Um, Sorry, I missed this some part of presentation. So I just want to hear what is the raising of hands for? The raising of so, hands right now is to approve the first uh, proposed executive committee that is on the slide or should be on the slide in front of you now. So if you approve that these people are the first executive of the AFCA, then now it's time to raise your hand. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. I think that we that we have approval of this first executive committee. Uh, so thank you very much for that. I can say welcome to the inaugural executive committee of the African Crystallographic Association. Uh, I think we have some uh, years of good work ahead of us, but we've had lots of years of preparation behind us. So I think that uh, we will go ahead and keep the association going. Um, we will have a meeting of the executive committee very, very soon in order to identify the, the points that, that we feel are important for the AFCA to focus on as we go forward. And we will circulate that information to the founder members and the, well, now the council members of the AFCA uh, very shortly. So thank you all very much for that. With that, I am going to close the shortest council meeting that I have ever had the privilege to be a part of um, and say thank you all very much for being here for this very, very important moment and this very important formal constitution of the African Crystallographic Association. Um, with that, there are, are two more people that I would like to invite to say a few words for us this, uh, this afternoon. Uh, and first, um, I would like to ask Prof Oyawa from the International Science Council uh, if he would like to say a few words for us this afternoon. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Delia. Am I audible? You are audible. I see you and yes. I hear you. Yeah, thank you very much and congratulations. Uh, my name is Oyawa. Uh, I'm uh, calling from Kenya. I think there was a Kenyan representative in the council. Maybe she, she, she left, but there was somebody representing the country. But uh, right now I'm uh, representing in my capacity as a member of the governing uh, council of the International Science Council. And on behalf of the governing board of the International Science Council, of which uh, the International Union of Crystallography is a member, I'm honored uh, to bring a message of uh, congratulatory wishes to the launch of the African Crystallographic Association. The work uh, of the association over the last, uh, uh, the work of the crystallographers over the last centuries has led to a great uh, range of deep insights into the nature of matter and practical applications. And uh, we at the IAC congratulate the International Union for their successful efforts in working towards becoming a truly international union. You have worked hard to promote the science of crystallography in different parts of the world. And today we are able to celebrate the launch of the association on the African continent. Yes, we also note that we are living during very unprecedented times in human history, as is being dictated by the pandemic. Expectations are high that science, technology, innovation will provide solutions and hence the need for the association to em embrace a, a multidisciplinary approach, a multi-sector approach, uh, even as you move forward uh, in this very important uh, task. I wish to, uh, on behalf of IEC, I wish to briefly draw your attention to the African Scientist Directory, an online directory facilitating the free flow of scientists 
and scientific knowledge across uh, the borders, promoting uh, the participation of African scientists in activities of the global scientific community. I, I've shared that, uh, I think, in the chat uh, for those who are interested in, in, in logging in. I encourage every scientist to consider registering your details on the directory to support our well-connected African science community. Uh, I've added the link. Uh, I've also added other links uh, related uh, to the same. So thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words on behalf of the council, IAC council, and again, my congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much for those words and thank you for posting the links. I might, I might ask that you post them in the chat again for those who missed them earlier. It's quite a, quite a way up to get back to them. Thank you so very much for being here with us okay. today uh, and for your welcome. And hopefully we will see you again at our next in-person meeting, which is happening in Nairobi. So <laughs> okay. uh, that will good. work out well. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, and now uh, for our uh, final address before we close this meeting this morning, I would like to ask uh, Jean-Paul Ngoumé from UNESCO if he would like to say a few words for us. Uh, UNESCO has been a fantastic support, as you heard this morning. Um, to us in crystallography in Africa. So uh, Jean-Paul, if you are still with us, please go ahead and unmute Thank you. yourself. There you are. Thank you. Thank you very much, Delia. Thank you very much, everyone. Can you hear me correctly? Yes, we hear you very yes, clearly. Yes, yes. Excellent. Yes. Actually, we are, um, I'm very grateful to, to represent UNESCO in, in this meeting, in this exceptional meeting and to convey all our words of congratulation for the, the official constitution of the African Crystallographic Association. It's a, a great day. We dreamt of it, we needed it, we worked for it, and today we can see the dream come true. So really congratulations from, from UNESCO. And this gives me also the, the opportunity to, to let you know, uh, you the scientists, the community, that we are here to, to support you and UNESCO will continue support as much as possible the the the, the growing of this um, uh, crystallographic association for the african continent but um, this is not the end of the story this is just the beginning uh, this is a big start of a new chapter of crystallography in africa we have seen the the presentation of, of different persons uh, professor andre road or, or, or claude lecomte which has given us uh, the flavor of the long way um, we we huh? walk together, I and, and I still believe that we will continue to to do so and to support you as much as as possible. This is the beginning of a new chapter of the development of science, technology, and innovation in Africa, and with crystallography as um, the basis of of of. The, the future development of the continent, the development of the human and, and institutional capacities, which are very important for Africa nowadays to reach the sustainable development goals. And uh, I think that with the, the constitution of the association, this gives also a new tool, a new tool for regional cooperation that is extremely needed and which is a concept that is also very dear to UNESCO because you probably know that Africa is one of the global priority of priorities of the organization. Um, but um, um, to conclude, I'd like to say that I hope that with this meeting, we'll all take responsibility to make the African Crystallographic Association a success, to help it grow, to help it develop and to become sustainable. Thank you to all. Thank you for all the, the, the speaker, the presentation, which were just amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Delia, for, for inviting me to this historic moment. Thanks to André, Malik, uh, Marielle, Patrick, and, and, and Claude, who has been extremely instrumental these last uh, 10 years. We have been collaborating together to, to make uh, crystallography in Africa uh, at the 8th, at the it should be. Thank you very much, and congratulations again to you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for those words of, of encouragement and of support and for the call to all to, uh, to continue supporting us. Thank you very much for that today. Um, before we finish, uh, it occurs to me that I did not do this at the end of the meeting. Could the, uh, the newly approved members of the executive 
committee of the AFCA turn on their cameras so that we can see what all of you look like. Um, have a wave and a smile. So I see Mamadou there. Welcome, Mamadou. Saham, Patrice. I know that Dixon is in the meeting. Uh, Rim, I'm sure, is here as well. Marielle, uh, who have I left out? I have my list in front of me. <laughs> uh, Gift is here. Uh, also, Adam. So thank you all very much for agreeing to do this. Uh, and what I'd like to do now is just say to everyone, thank you so much uh, for being here for this historic moment with us today. Uh, thank you so much for being here to celebrate with us today and to mark this really important occasion with the constitution of this new association, the African Crystallographic Association. Uh, I know that doing this online in some ways has not been ideal, but in other ways it's meant that we can have people from all over the continent and from all over the world join us today. And that's really been amazing. And I'm really very grateful. We are all very grateful to all of you for being here. And we hope that as many of you as possible will join us to celebrate this in person at PCCR3 in Nairobi, as has already been mentioned, where we will celebrate this in person in true African style. So please, uh, Keep that on your, on your calendar. Um, and also, I hope that as many of you as possible will join us in this afternoon's uh, session, the plenary session of the conference, where one of our newly elected executive uh, committee members, Saham, uh, will give a presentation on her research. So that will happen right here at two o'clock this afternoon. So please, uh, if you can, stay around and join us for that. Uh, and with Delia? that, it remains. Yes, Andre. Delia, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm rude. Shall we? Can't we take pictures? Get our photographer going. You took the words out of my mouth. I was just about to say, Susan has been unofficially elected the EPCCR conference <laughs> photographer. Susan, if you're with us, please, could you help us to uh, to take a picture and could as many people as possible um, open up their cameras so that we can take a picture of who is here for this very important occasion. Um, Susan, are you still with us? I'm right there, and and um, it's your job. At the next line on my CV is going to be EPCCR photographer. Um, yep. So, right. So everybody, just um, thank you to everybody for turning on your cameras. Um, on my screen, I'm afraid there are so many of us, 127 participants, that it's going to take three screenshots. And as I've said in a couple of other sessions, you don't know where you are on my screen. Uh, so when I say smile, um, please hold that smile and just hang on. We're going to take three photographs um, to capture everybody. So first, first lot. Everybody smiling. Three, two, one. There we go. And my next screen. Hold on just a second. Okay, keep smiling. Three, two, one. There's a nice photo. Great smile, John. Um, and the last one uh, for the last last few people. Just keep keep those smiles going. Three, two, one. Nice photo. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Delia. Thank you so much, Susan, for doing that for us. Thank you, Andre, for reminding us. Uh, and thank yeah. you once again to everybody for being here on this great day. Uh, we will. See you all again in the next session and at future meetings. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Congratulations. Alessia, thank you. Alessia. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Delia. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.
Goodbye, all of you. See you next time. Absolutely. Robert, I see your face. It's very nice to see you. Delia, have you set a um, dues structure for the organization? A, a what kind of structure? Payment, dues, membership. Uh, we have. Uh, we've set this. We've set the structure in our bylaws. Um, we're in the process of trying to, now that we've constituted the society, we can register it and open a bank account. So, Okay, I was wondering for people who want to join, um, you know, what the procedure is. So um, now, now that we have everything officially approved, we will make an effort to put our, our statutes and bylaws up on, uh, on our various online presences and get that information out to people as soon as possible, how they can officially join the, the association. There are several um, levels and ways in which people can join the association, both as groups and as individuals and as supporters. Um, so we'll get that information out and uh, make it clear to everyone who's, who's been involved in this meeting, uh, how they can access that and how they can join. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for asking, that's a really important question, thank you. So I'm gonna say goodbye to everyone now. I'm going to turn off my camera and mute myself and I'll see you all at the session later on this afternoon. Bravo, Belkilia. Félicitations à tout à l'heure. Bravo, Delia. Bravo, Delia. Merci, madame. Bonjour, Delia. Et bonjour Patrice. Merci. Oui. <laughs> thank you for thank you for the Patrice. Oui, merci, 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 oui, merci, 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 merci. Félicitations. Merci à vous tous, c'était pas évident. On est arrivé. Félicitations au peuple compte. Oui, bon, félicitations au peuple compte vraiment. Merci vraiment ouais. beaucoup euh, à frère Le professeur le un moment fantastique. Euh, merci pour ce que vous avez fait. Ouais, ouais. hein. L'Afrique les retiendra toujours. Ah oui, c'était vraiment <rire> un moment fantastique. <rire> c'est ça, c'est ça même. Prestation au pauvre Conte qui a cru et cru, toujours cru à ce projet. <rire> c'est ça même, exact, exact, exact. Ouais. Bon, bon. Parfois, malgré toutes les difficultés, il a, yeah. toujours, il a toujours regardé ouais, les choses ouais, ouais. dans le bon sens. Exact, exact. Bon, mais voilà, c'est une nouvelle ère qui commence. Oui, oui. Oh, il faut, on va encore se bousculer comme on peut, quoi. Exact, c'est ça. Patrice. <rire> oui. Profite pour dire Albert, il n'est plus disparaître. Ah oui, 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 ça, il le faut. Il faut que... <rire> Bonjour à tout le monde. Il faudrait qu'on cherche une corde. Il faudrait qu'on cherche une corde. Attaché. <rire> Bonjour. <rire> On cherche Albert. Je n'ai pas disparu. Je n'ai pas disparu. Je suis là. Je suis toujours. Bonjour Patrice. Bonjour tout le monde. Salut Marielle. Ah oui, c'est Prisca. Ah, good morning. Ah oui, c'est Prisca. C'est Prisca. Ah, Prisca. Yeah, Evelyn, good morning. Tu as réservé le moi à checker là. <rire> ah mais ça, ça va c'est gâté ça a trop duré ah <rire> fais là bonjour bonjour <rire> bonjour Patrice ah c'est bien bonjour pour sur le camp comment tu vas ça va bonjour Adam ah, bonjour, bonjour Marielle <rire> ça va 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 Ça va? Donc, donc c'est la session française alors? Oui, 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 oui on passe à l'eau. C'est la session française qui a l'eau. Allez! C'est la session française qui a l'eau.